This video was generated with VO3, but it's my voice. So I can create content while in a hot air balloon with Bigfoot, or maybe a Coldplay concert, and still have it sound just like me. I did this by combining VO3 with Eleven Labs, and here's the exact workflow. So the very first thing in VO3 is to create the video you want. And as you can see, this is my prompt right here. I've described the scene that I want and the line that I want the character in the video to say. One of the most important things to do is to make sure you include no music and no sound effects. The reason for this is that in our VO3 generation, we only want the spoken word of our character, which we're going to change later on with Eleven Labs. We don't want any background noise or background music because that can interfere with Eleven Labs voice changer. And so after a few prompts, I have the video I like, and now to change the voice within the video, all I'm going to do is download it. And now I like to download the upscaled version for the best quality. So I click this and then I go ahead and click download. Once I've got this file on my computer, the next thing I'm going to do is head to Premiere Pro. Here you could use any other video editor as long as it allows you to separate the audio file. In Premiere Pro, I've dragged in the video clip from VO3. And now let's just play it back and take a listen. Hello, my name is Alec. And today we're going to be talking about making content with AI. So as you can see, I've got the exact line that I want to be said, but it's the wrong voice. I want a voice that sounds just like mine. Well, to do this, the very first thing is to export the audio separately. So I need it as a WAV file. So if I hit Command M to export, I make sure that I select the waveform audio format and then I can just click export. Once I've got this individual audio file, I can head over to Eleven Labs. In Eleven Labs, all you want to do is click on the voice changer. And here we want to upload our audio. So I'm just going to drag and drop the WAV file that I've just rendered from Premiere Pro, which is the audio that we've separated from the original VO3 clip. I then want to go ahead and choose a voice. Now, I want this to sound like me, so I'm going to go ahead and look for my professional voice clone. So I've got Alex professional voice clone. To create your own voice clone, it's very simple. All you have to do is click on voices and then click create or clone a voice. And here you can create an instant voice clone where you can clone your voice from only 10 seconds of audio or you can create a higher quality voice clone called a professional voice clone, which requires a minimum of 30 minutes of high quality sounding audio. I'm going to cover these in another video later on, but if you wanted to create a voice that didn't sound like yours, but that was still different to the VO3 original, you could go ahead and use voice design and create a voice by describing any voice you can think of. So if you felt like the VO3 generations weren't giving you the voice you needed, you can go ahead and create a brand new one that matches your character that you can use forever and that's unique to you. Back in the Eleven Labs voice changer, if you've cloned your voice or you've created a new voice with voice design, you can go ahead and choose it from the voice drop down menu. Below this, you've then got the model and we recommend sticking with Eleven Multilingual V2, which is the best model for voice changer. And then we have stability, similarity, style exaggeration, remove background noise and speaker boost. And these are all different settings that will help you customize the output of your voice generation. And I do want to mention that the default values are the values that have been optimized to give you the best output. But if you're not getting the output you quite like, go ahead and play around with these and you have a brief explanation of each one if you simply hover over the word. Now, all we have to do here is then click on generate speech. Hello, my name is Alec and today we're gonna to be talking about making content with AI. And so as you can see, we have the same sentence delivered with the same tone and cadence, but with my professional voice clone. And so the next step would be to simply download this and then we head back into Premiere Pro and then we drag and drop in the new voice generation that we've changed with Voice Changer. And all we need to make sure we do is match up the waveforms. And so now we can mute the original and if we preview it from the beginning. Hello, my name is Alec. And today we're going to be talking about making content with AI. As you can see, I've now used my own voice with a VO3 video generation. And I can go and do this for as many videos I want. I can go ahead and create some brand new characters and even create some brand new voices with Eleven Labs and combine the two. And so the creative possibilities here are endless when it comes to combining VO3 with Eleven Labs. And just to show you a very quick example, let's say I wanted a completely different voice for this one. I could go ahead and change it to Arabella, click regenerate, and then I drag this new voice generation in, again, match up the sound waves, mute the previous one, and now let's preview it. Hello, my name is Alec, 
And today we're going to be talking about making content with AI. As you can see, the voice doesn't match the character at all, but it's just to show you everything you can do with Voice Changer. Because if I created a brand new character with VO3, I could find the perfect voice to match it with 11 Labs. If you have any questions about VO3 or how to use Voice Changer with 11 Labs, let us know in the comment section down below. And if you want to see more videos about AI workflows and content tutorials, subscribe and don't forget to hit that like button. Thanks for watching.